Oh, Gorochan, this is where I'll, I'll meet my, my father. I only have two requests. Oh, please don't r reveal that you're just pretending to be, to be, to be my boyfriend. Uh, and don't anger him. He got it. But what's all this about making him angry? Did your dad get pissed off easily? Oh no, he's just stubborn. He's not s scary, though. He seems to think I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. And he babies me more than he sh should, but underneath it all, he's a good. He's as good as a, a, a father as I could ask for. Well, I suppose it's tough to, to blame the guy. If I had a daughter like you, I'd be pretty worried, too. You see? So if he starts saying a bunch of weird stuff, he'll blow his lid and he'll and be like, Forget this guy, I'll, I'll arrange your next date. So let's avoid that. No problem. So, let's go over my, my, my boyfriend's backstory now. S excuse me, I need a backstory? I've been going out for six months. You're a dentist who likes going out on drives and watching movies. And your favorite food is the omelet rice I make, okay? Uh, what was all that now? I had to give my dad some details about, uh, about my, my boyfriend's. So, so I made stuff up. If he gets curious, make sure you... You got it memorized. Oh, oh, oh. Well, Yanny's definitely making this a walk in the park. How am I supposed to remember all these details? Fine, from the top. I've been going out for six months. You're a dentist. You like going, going out on drives and watching movies. And you love the omelet rice I make, okay? I'll give him, I'll give him my best shot. Oh, there he is. Dad. Over here. So this is Coco Chan's dad. Uh, unlike his waist case of a daughter, he seems, he seems pretty buttoned up. Coco Chan, this is my father. Hello. I hope Coco was father. Pleased to meet you. And this is the man I'm seeing. Goro Majima's son. I know that I think. Now that I think about it, I'm meeting a girl's dad for the first time. He's. It was super important for a normal couple. It's going to make an, an impact on the rest of her life. I guess I better buckle down and get into this, uh, 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 this role properly. Uh, uh, no different than at the Grand, right? The first impression's key. No, now what do I open with? Pleased to meet you, sir. I'm, I'm Goro Majima. When did you Kun, was it? I understand my daughter looks to you for a lot of support. Support? I don't know. In fact, it's quite the opposite. Kokoro-san has stood by me at, at every turn. Well, how courteous of you. Something that gets to me these days is the erosion of courtesy in today's youth. So many can't even ma manage a proper introduction. You, know, you seem different, Wajima Kun. That's right, Dad. Gorochan's not like those, those stereotypical men. Good. First impression went well. Playing the respectful type was a pretty s s s slick move. Oh, Majima Kun, I must say I'm surprised. You really do exist. I beg your pardon. Well, my my daughter described you as a man who is t tall yet slender waisted, sports an eye patch, has long hair tied back, and emits a, a deadly aura not unlike a dagger's edge. I never imagined such a man could actually exist. Here you are in the flesh. You see that? I told you I wasn't lying. My boyfriend's right in front of you. He said Trickety was another fragment of your overactive imagination, so I'm really quite shocked. Huh? Overactive imagination? Dad, I don't make things up that often, do I? <laughs> well, they do seem to be on good terms. And her dad's a decent guy, too, so... It was stern, but but decent. Oh yes, Majimikun. Kuko, um, uh, uh, I may have mentioned it already, but what line of work are you in again? My job, huh? Oh man, I think Kuko mentioned that in my backstory she, she gave me. I'm a Yakuza. No, I'm a dentist. Oh yes, yes, that's right. Uh, I heard you're a dentist. I never would have guessed from your appearance. 
I'm not the face to expect from it. A dentist at all, to be frank. I can told that often, yes. Dad, you're being so rude to my Goro-chan. I just gotta remember that Kor what Goro-chan told me in that hack job of a backstory. It's Stanley, Majima-kun. Yes? I was wondering, how did you come to meet Kikua? Oh, well that's, uh... I, I, I didn't ask you, I asked Majima-kun. But, but, but... Tell me, Majima-kun. Uh, how did you get to, uh, 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 to know each other? What the? He's prying pretty deep. Is he onto us? I to explain how he's supposed to be uh, chan in a way that won't, won't, won't make him s s suspicious. We sat next to each other in a movie. In a movie? Come to think of it, Koko did mention that you enjoy movies. Yes, like I said, Koko chan just happened to sit next to me. Uh, Flick was a real tearjerker, so I offered her my handkerchief and the rest is history. Yes, that's how it went. Amazing, Goro-chan. Can't believe you came up with such... I mean, uh, I remember like it was 15 minutes ago. It was so, so, so romantic. What would a fortuitous meeting, then. I'm just glad she, I didn't meet, meet your boyfriend at any place and she, she shouldn't be. Of course not, my Goro Chan is a proper and decent man. There, I'm. Uh, I love in Koko Chan's backstory, he came up with a tale that rings true enough. Hi, Jimmy Kun, I'm gonna put it to you straight. What is it about my daughter that you find attractive? Dad? Well, why'd you put up on the spot like that? I'm sorry, Koko, but I just, I'm just so worried about you. You're still so innocent and like a child. It keeps me awake at night worrying about whether or not you'll ever manage to live a proper and prosperous family life. If there's a man who would love you and treat you well, why, I would give you my blessing for marriage right this instant. Dad, uh... That's what I need to ask, would you be doing? What, what about Kokoa do you find attractive? He's looking into my hole here. I guess I can't blame him. His daughter's f f future is on the line. Uh, I don't like tricking him, but I told Coco Chan I'd go along with this. Try to find a good reason why I find her so attractive. She makes great omelette rice. I fell in love with how great the omelette rice sh she makes is. Well, I must agree with you there. Her omelette rice has a special quality to it. I, I love it too. But Majimi Kun, if that's all you see of my daughter, I want to get, I don't want to give her away to you. If it's delicious omelet uh, omelet rice that you cook, it, 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 it could just as, as easily marry a uh, cook. Hmm. Dad, damn it, tapping into Coco Chan's backstory backfired. From your dad's point of view, he, he wanted a guy who appreciates his daughter f fully, not just for her cooking ability. Would you two excuse me? I need to go wash up. Uh, sure, honey. D -d -d Don't fall in. <laughs> oh, oh, wait a sec. With the powder in her nose, it's down to me. Uh, just me and your old man. Damn. A awkward. I'm a Jimmy Kun. Uh, y y yes? I have no idea who you really are, but thank you for, uh, for playing, on, uh, playing along with my daughter's lie. Huh? Uh, her lie? Whoa, whoa, what lie? Uh, I got no idea uh, uh, what you mean. <laughs> you can stop pretending. I knew this was all an act from the moment I sat down. Is it that obvious? If you knew from the start, what gave us away? I can tell just by the way my daughter was acting. I, I wasn't her, her father for, for all these years for nothing. Well, why'd you go along with this dumb trade for, for so long? Mm. Kako was so desperate to convince me. It's my fault she, she tried to stunt like this, isn't it? 
I'm sure it's because I kept I'm pushing her into dates with all those who suit as I arranged for her. You know your daughter well. You saw right through her. I lost my wife when Coco was still an infant. I, I raised her alone without anyone else's help. I tried to raise her well so no one would look down on her for not having a mother. But I know I've been overly protective of her. I can see now that she's capable of standing on her own two feet. I've got to stop telling my daughter to do this or that. Uh, no more pushing or oh, oh, no more. Uh, I'm no more pushing her to meet a potential suitors. She's her own woman. It's time I learned to let her go. But the truth is, there's another reason I went along with your little charade. And what's that? Someday my daughter's gonna bring a real boyfriend to meet me. And I thought this, this might be good practice. Practice, huh? And thanks to you, I got a good idea of what to expect. When the time comes, I think I'll manage. Ah, it's still in a good feeling to spend so much time lying to someone who knew it from the start. But I gotta tell you, I think avoiding an arranged marriage wasn't the only reason Koko-chan pulled this stunt. What do you mean? I think she was trying to show you that you don't need to worry about her so much. Worry? Yeah. Pretty plain to see that she's the source of a bundle of your worries. I think she wanted to reassure you that she's capable of looking after herself. She wanted to prove to you she can manage her own affairs like getting married. Sorry, I'm back. I hope that wasn't too awkward for you guys. Did you even break the silence? Welcome back, Kukuchan. Well, listen, you, your dad actually knew. Oh, when did you Yes? Kokoa, you've done well finding this man. I had nothing to worry about after all. Dad. I know, right? Kokotron's a super guy. So this means he'll stop trying to set me up, right? Yes, I can see there's no longer any need. Really? Awesome. It's been an awfully long day. I'm heading back to my hotel. Oh, okay. I'll, I'll walk you back, Dad. Gorchan, thank you so much for being my my boyfriend for even just a few minutes today. Gorchan, I think you did an excellent job pretending to be to be my my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. I wanted to give you this. Thank you. Full right, okay. Whatever the case, I think I'm I'm free from Dad hounding me to meet his, his scooters. Oh, oh, what a relief! Well, that's good. Yes. Well, I have to walk my dad to his hotel. Ah. Yep. Well. I didn't get a real boyfriend, you better do a proper introduction so he doesn't have to worry about you. Hi. I'll try. I'm, I'm, I'm fine now. Coco, I forgot something. Give me just a moment. Oh, okay. Huh? So, there's something wrong. Oh, what would you be doing? There's one last thing I, I need to say. Huh? What's that? I'm going to be good. I'm glad I got to talk to you. I went through all the bother of pretending to be, to be my, my daughter's boyfriend just for my sake. You're a good man. <laughs> I was trying to put one past you. Don't give me too much credit now. No, no, not at all. That's why I'd like it if you'd be my daughter's real boyfriend. Excuse me? Oh, 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 what did you say? I said, won't you please ask my daughter out for, for real? Consider it for, for, for a moment, please. What in the fresh hell makes you think that's a good idea? I guess you're, you're the ideal man. I think I can safely entrust your future to you. 
Oh, slow down. I'm, I'm having trouble bleeding my ears. You could start by just pretending. That's fine. Heck, sh if she won't take you, I will. Did you just say what I think you did? Yeah, Dad, what's all this about? Give me a break, you two. This is why I'm single. <laughs> Alright, then. I got a new video clip, apparently. Okay, that's Mr. Shakedown. Don't want to get involved with him. Hello? Oh, hi. How's it going? Yeah, thanks for calling me right away. So clunky ass baggies slinging. You want to hear about, uh, about my shoulder bag phone? Huh? No? That's not what you're calling about? Uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. Sorry. The bag phone. Is that bag actually working as a phone? That's some shit I am. Oh, alright. I get it. Well, if you ever want to hear about it, you can't know who to call. Okay, bye. Man, why doesn't anyone appreciate the awesomeness of my of bag phones? Do you probably know how, how much I had to beg for this thing? Good. And hey, buddy. Are you just chatting on the phone for that chunky bag you got there? Pardon? He, he, yes, exactly, yes. I was talking using this. That's pretty wild. Is it some kind of radio then? Oh no, not at all. That's a real phone. It's called a bag phone. Bag phone. When he puts a phone in a bag. Oh really? You don't know? This is all the rage now. It's a fully transportable mobile telephone made possible through state-of-the-art technology. From now on, people have been I'll be able to carry telephones with them all the time. <laughs> You'll be able to, to connect, connect with anyone at any time and anywhere. A mobile telephone, eh? Crazy, but what's the point of carrying a phone with you at all times? <laughs> You're not seeing the bigger picture. With this bad boy, not chained to your home or office. You could even turn a cafe into your workplace. You can be in touch with your friends and family at all times. I, I, I could call up my, my mom right now if I wanted. Uh, sure, I guess I could see the use in that. I, I need to see the light. Doesn't it make you want one? You should head to the store and get it to ride the wave of the future. Yeah, right, I'm guessing that thing costs you an arm and a leg. Ride in the future always comes with the tax. Actually, yeah, it's more expensive than I should even say. Figured as much. I don't see the need. I'll stick to the payphones with the rest of them. Oh, with the rest of the peasants. Hmm, but weren't you just about to enter a phone booth? Yeah, I was about to make your call. So I see. <laughs> Very well. I shall let you use the cutting edge uh, of technology. My bag phone to place your call. Well, are you sure about that? Mm. Certainly. I want everyone to experience the future today. You need to understand just what a bag phone represents. Aren't they generous? A bag phone, huh? Guys, this is state of the art. I don't want to see what it's all about. Couldn't I see a, a, like an actual mobile phone earlier with Kiryu? It was one of the brick phones, but it was still a lot smaller than that. Sure, I'll take a look. Sure, let's see what the future holds. Alright, I know you're excited, but the future is right here. Uh, hanging off my shoulder. Uh, here you go. You're about to get a taste of tomorrow. Don't mind if I do. Huh? 
I'm not hearing anything. Really? Can I see it for a sec? Man, the battery must have died. I probably used it all when I took that call from my buddy. The battery's dead. Yeah, the thing about the future is that it really sucks the life out of today's batteries. Does it? Uh, how long does it take to recharge? A mere eight hours. That long? You only had one conversation earlier, and that's all it takes to run it down to empty? That's the price to pay for being on the vanguard of the times. It's always been that way. Technology's beauty is as fleeting and fragile as the cherry blossom. Right, so how much like a hassle then it's worth? You know, as soon as you. Uh, as I heard, Marvel of Technology's gone silent. I'll think, oh. I guess I'll have to pass on your offer. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, no, no, no. Wait. Let's not be hasty. And now what? You can't just give up on your chance to cross the frontier of progress. Just because it's out of power doesn't mean we can't get it back. Here, he just told me in like eight hours. I ain't got that that kind of time, kid. I'll be able to tap my, tap, my, tap my, my message out in Morse code before that thing came back. Well, it just so happens this thing can also use regular batteries to make calls. So, could you go buy me a battery for it? I think Don Quixote carries them. What? I'm not gonna run your errands? And don't be upset. For the price of a couple batteries, you could be getting in touch with the future. I do gotta admit that I'm curious. I'm sure you're a busy man, so, so I'll wait oh, <laughs> right here for you. Take your time. And by the way, my name's Itozuka. I promise you can use my phone, my phone bag, as long as you come back with a battery. All right, uh, I'm Majima. I'll be back when I can. Uh, I guess I'm. If I, if I ever buy a Don Quixote, I can pop in and get this kid a battery. It's the future we're talking about. Uh, hello. Manas Hakura. Alright, let's uh, save here real quick. coming after me, okay. <clears throat> Is this just a drunk guy? Let's uh, head back to Majima's apartment here. Oh, Matia, Majima. Huh? Dariyama. Odessa no mon yatte yutara, kokoro atari aru yaro. Odessa. Nozomi no hiki nuki nara. やまがと話はついとるで。支配人がなっとくしても俺らが納得するか。に寄って<笑> よるの帝王かなんか知らんが、ま、
試しにやってみてもええけどな<笑>お前らの言う通りやお客様は神様<笑>うちの店に来た客になら土下座でもするし靴でもなめたるわ<笑>せやな客やないなら話は別まして喧嘩売りに来たチンピラなんぞに俺が優しいと思うな<笑>大層な口聞けんのも今のうちやカマやってまえ All right. Let's take care of these guys. したかったら店に来い客としてなら土下座でも何でもしたる好きにせ<笑>ただその後どうなるかは保証するぞお客様は神様やからな Let me collect this card down here before I leave. Nozomi Hazuki. この町は牢獄や俺が塀の外に出られんのはいつなんやろな今日だ Alright, that was chapter three Proof of resolve. Three is a good Kamarucho. Oh, Yodai. Oh, Leonore, what did you do? Ah. まがいもんは一切なし同島組経由で仕入れた正真正銘の本物以外
拳銃は全部で6丁1丁につき6発撃てるとして36発発射できる36発か相手は上野義晴とその場にいる清和会の連中全員こないなとこ呼び出して何のつもりなんすか柴田はん担当直入に言いますきょ上野義治の襲撃真島さん行かないでくださいどうしてそれをあなたと佐江島は今日出所直後の上野義治を都内のラーメン屋で襲うそういう計画ですよね実はあの計画ちょっと問題がありましてね予定を変更させてもらうことになりましたこのまま襲撃に向かえば堂島組長いや島野さんにも迷惑をかけることになってしまいます兄弟はもう向かってねえやじゃあ俺はどうしたらええんじゃま真島さんあんたは俺に兄弟を裏切れっちゅうかこのまま見殺しにせえっちゅうか落ち着いて落ち着いて俺は行くたとえどんな裏があってもかまへん俺にとって最初まだだった一人の兄弟なんじゃ真島さんでもそれじゃああなたの身もうるさい関係ないわこっちは備えなもんとっくに捨てる払ってきたんじゃそうですかそれじゃ仕方ありませんねおいお前には失望したで。Another shite night's sleep. Gotta get to work. I don't know how much else I can do right now. Hmm. Hmm? It's my pager. It's 5810 and 51. 
That's a dragon and tiger and cub. Uh, I guess I'll swing by if I can. Is this only about adding more dispatch destinations? I'll check it out when I got time. Yeah, I'll take these guys. Come on, here. Here we go. There's some pocket tissues. For whatever reason, I might need them. More of these guys. this guy again. Alright, uh, I'm, I'm gonna head to the dragon and tiger first. Which is further down this way, I think. over here. Hmm? What's the girl doing by herself? Is she lost? Boy. Hey kiddo, where's your mom? Are you lost? Uh. No, I'm not. No? Then what you standing around for all by yourself then, huh? Well, no reason. With this kid, she do not, uh, she's doing it, it right. In, I'm not talking to strangers, but it's dangerous here. Greatest under packing. Oh, listen, why don't you hightail it back to your mom instead of loafing around here? There's no place for kids. Okay. Off of the little scamp. Finally, uh, she had something to say, so she ain't lost and I'm gonna make it home. Okay. I hope there's no troublemakers lurking around. What you got? Once you've become more familiar with with weapons, Majibisan, I'll teach you new ways to wield them. Are that really going to be necessary? You ain't gotta be a genius to, to work out which way is the pointy end. I sort of part of my service. It'd be a shame to leave the full power of the weapons you obtained from me untapped. I'm just saying I got my own way of doing things. But hey, if you go through the trouble, I'll hear you out. I also recommend that you work on honing your bats, your bats skills. Uh, there's a wealth of hidden potential there. I think so. I don't know. I kind of figured bat meets head was pretty much the extent of it. Now you have much more to learn. And by, by my estimation, your bat technique could prove more deadly than even swordplay if you develop it. 
more, more deadly than the sword. Are you serious? Quite. The bat and the katana are like in length. A system of baseball players purchase a katana and practice their swings with them to heighten their focus. The consider is another class weapon. The bat's a weight resting at the far tip yields exceptional destructive power, making it distinctly different from a blade. Yeah, they're obviously two different things, but the principle's not so far off, right? Yeah. I'm telling you, there are techniques you could perform with the bat that probably wouldn't be possible using other weapons. I suggest you work on uncovering these. <laughs> hmm. You're making a big deal out of this, but bats are bad if you ask me. You just whack people with them. This is a truly groundbreaking technique. I'll teach you new, new, new weapon skills as, as you progress, but I ask that you show me your bat finding skills in, in return. I'll show you anything you want, but I ain't, I ain't exactly the pro professor type. Yeah. Hey, I got an idea. Oh, what's that? Oh, oh, oh. When you teach me new, new weapon moves, how about you take me... You take me on... Oh, 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 at that weapon. I'll fight back with a bat. It'll be difficult for you to pick up new techniques that way, I fear. I believe it's better to begin by learning the proper stance and forms. What, you're, you're gonna make a pro, bar, a pro baller start by playing catch? Oh, 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 we, need that, oh, we ain't exactly amateurs here. I'd rather get a feel for weapon naturally in a fight. Let's see, I suppose that method may be better suited to you. I've been looking forward to going on another round with you anyway. <laughs> This should be fun. And perhaps that is your true motive. I'll be here when you're ready to continue your training. Okay. Uh, what about you? Uh, uh, hello, we got more dispatch destinations now. Uh, I'll mark new ones for you. Have a look. Uh, I remove mark when you check a new destination, okay? And now, what you need. What can I craft? Lumber and iron pipe for one-handed weapons. We need timber for that one. Don't know what we need for that one. And quality iron for dagger. Lead ingots for a bat. Wooden katana. Okay. Iron hammer. Long lumber. Shotguns, huh? Um, brass knuckles. A modified lighter. Oof. There's a lot of stuff. some defense I guess yeah some armor here as well hmm. I guess let's go on another search Japan West Asia West Europe North America South America This is the most expensive, 750,000? Yeah. I guess let's start with, uh, with this one here. Go to the Ganges Delta, the Night Market, or the Liberation Army Camp. That's expensive. Better do a pole's pole belt. What about here? I'll try this one here. A homeless man. Backpacker. TV personality. Con artist. Information dealer. Let's 
see. I think we'll do this guy, the backpacker. Expensive, but yeah, that would increase the odds. Uh, let's see. that much maybe they just like that right there that's a hundred thousand sure and repair you can repair things too huh hmm. all right Do some more training with you? No. Okay. Uh, however, I do have more money now. Nothing that I can afford there. Could afford that. Could get that. Sure. More max health is always nice. much money on me right now let's just let's see how this goes hey you with the eye patch huh eh? give me your money what are you trying to shake me down I'm getting too famous around here for my own good you're famous can I get your autograph I write my name on it too no and I Kawahashi. So you can brag to folks back home how you met someone famous you've never even heard of? Don't you laugh at me. You don't know who I am either. My crew is 25,000 guys strong. So you better sh show some respect. Cool story, bro. But if it were true, your, your little gang would arrive with a Tojo clan in size. I ain't buying it. I'm not lying. I've got a, re a real re re reputation back home. Alright, if you say so. That's so why you're here on your own. The, the, the other 24,999 guys were running out of gas on the way. I'm a lone wolf, that's all. A lone wolf with 25,000 friends to comfort you when you get a little lonely. What's all, what's all these questions? I'm just here in town to have some fun. Oh. But I need cash for that, you know? Oh. But you didn't bring any money? <laughs> oh, oh. I do that. Oh, there's plenty of it here. So you're just a kid from the sticks who came to this city for a good time and you're beating folks up for, for play money. He picked on the wrong city slicker, though. It was, it was so, so, Sotenbori Grand Circle tools, doors over. I didn't want to give me your money without a fight. That's fine by me. Well, that, uh, that did not go well. Holy smokes, he's stupid strong. Yep, yeah, there goes all my money. Thanks, loser. Huh? Damn it, I busted my ass during that money. Oh, huh? well, what do I care? If you want it back, you, you're welcome to come back and try the same thing on me. Now, where should I spend your hard earned cash? At a pachinko parlor? Or maybe I should treat myself uh, uh, to some sweet time with some sweet ass as a cabaret. My precious moolah, I can't let this slide. I gotta beef up and get it back from him with interest. Alright, well, let's uh, get a little bit back at least from these guys. Oh, 
They're checking out a little kid all by her lonesome. Yeah, she ain't old enough to hustle. Now keep her eyes peeled, would you? No, we'll grab the kids. It'll shake down the parents. Easy come, easy go. Pretty smart. There could be some nice cash in that. Let's do it. Ah, here we go. I uh, got something real nice for you, little girl. Come over here. Don't wanna. Shit. Huh? Little fucking brat. Are you coming? Oh, 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 one way or the other. Oh, no. Leave me alone. See? Oh, 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 what'd I tell you? Uh, who the hell are you? Uh, 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 her old man? Nobody's special. Just looking out for a stranger. Stranger? Well, then mind your own business. Well, don't go getting any ideas or we'll make sh sh sure you, re you, re you regret it. Next time you ought to take my advice and head straight home, kiddo. This is a dangerous town full of s scumbags. Scumbags? Nobody calls me scum. Sorry. Give me a break. Good for nothing, losers. Uh, thanks, her. Sir. Uh, I'm only 24, you know. 24. Uh, okay. Anyway, as I was saying, why don't we head on home? Okay. Something wrong? You hear your mom fighting? No. And then what's up? What the doll? Huh? The red chestnut, the squirrel. The chestnut, the squirrel. I mean, the red squ the squirrel prize and the UFO catcher? Yeah. You want that? Yeah. I'm sure your dad will buy you one if you ask nice. What? Don't have a dad. Oh, so, sorry, Scamp. It's okay, I'm fine. There's still no point in hanging around here. You can't get it yourself, can you? It's okay, I don't need it. Oh, but it's so cute, I just like to look at it. Yeah? You're a strange kid. Alright, I gotta get going. Okay. The doll girl, okay. Red chest out the squirrel doll, huh? I can't ever stand here all day, so if I grab one, maybe I'll give it to her. That's probably the pager, yeah. Well, that's, uh... Red chest out the squirrel. That's not any of those. Uh, she and she fuck catcher prizes. Alright. Are they in here now? No, there's more of this, uh... Those other things.
any luck with this? It is changing, but not to the stuff I want. not really red but I'll try it I'll try for the pink one Let's see if that counts as a red one Yep, it is. Okay. Sweet. I'm gonna go for this one back here as well. Because why not? Nice. For the, the yellow one here as well. If only every Ukraine game was this easy. Alright. To give this to the little girl. What? You still turn that chest out the scroll doll? Huh? Oh, well, yeah, I am. I have one of those red chest out the scroll dolls now. Maybe I ought to give it to her. Ah, fine. Here. Wow, it's a red chest out the squirrel. It's adorable. But it, 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 it ain't exactly my things, so why don't they keep it? Really? Uh, thanks, sir. I never got a present from anyone besides my mom before. Best day ever. Uh, that's so. Well, gl I'm glad you like it. Uh, now, will you get on home? Yeah, I'm gonna tell my mom all about it. Uh, thanks, sir. Bye. My little scamp's a handful. Oh, it feels kind of nice to make your day like that. Nice. Alright. Let me go back and save my game here. Alright, I think I'm going to end it here. Thank you everybody for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care.